Meanwhile, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser ordered a 6 p.m. curfew in response to the violence that occurred in the nation's capital today. Eliza Gonzalez Manglikmot joins us tonight. Thank you, Ace. Good evening to you and good morning to our viewers in the Philippines. Ace, what started off as a protest against the certification of election results quickly became what President-elect Joe Biden called an insurrection. The situation at the U.S. Capitol has been feared to escalate in the coming hours, forcing D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser to order a citywide curfew for the District of Columbia. The curfew runs from 6 p.m. tonight, January 6, to 6 a.m. tomorrow, January 7. Ace, no person other than those designated by the mayor shall walk, bike, run, loiter, stand, or motor by car or other mode of transport on any street, alley, park, or public place within the district. Although Capitol Police were able to clear the steps of the Capitol building, fear of further unrest remains as night falls. Mayor Bowser said under the curfew, authorities have the power to arrest anyone in violation of the order. Essential workers, however, are exempted as well as uh, the working media with outlet issued credentials. Also those engaged in essential functions, including those traveling to and from essential work are exempted. In Washington, Eliza Gonzalez, Manglik Mott, Eagle News, will live in interesting times. Back to you, Ace. Eliza, the National Guard troops from D.C., Virginia, and Maryland have been deployed to the district. Some following the events might be of the opinion that the effort of the D.C. government is too little or too late. What can you say about this? Uh, that's true, Ace. It is indeed unfortunate that the situation got out of hand. Many government officials also commented how saddened they were. However, Ace, according to Mayor Bowser's website, the mayor's office had taken steps to prepare for this. Among these preparations are, uh, number one, directing the D.C. Homeland Security and Emergency Management Agency, or the HSEMA, to stand up the district's emergency operations center to coordinate the response for the First Amendment demonstrations permitted by the National Park Service scheduled for yesterday and um, also what happened today. Yesterday, the Metropolitan Police Department, or the MPD, began its full activation with all staff reporting for response on Tuesday and today. The mayor also asked Washingtonians and those who live in the region to stay out of the downtown area um, yesterday and today and not to engage with demonstrators who come to the city seeking confrontation. Uh, members of the public and anyone attending the events have been reminded that district law prohibits anyone from carrying a firearm within a thousand feet of any First Amendment activity. Um, now, ACE, under federal law, it is illegal to possess firearms on the U.S. Capitol grounds and on National Park Service areas, such as the Freedom Plaza, the Ellipse, and the National Mall. Members of the public have also been reminded that the District of Columbia does not have reciprocity with other states' concealed pistol licenses unless a person has been issued a concealed pistol license by the District of Columbia they cannot conceal carry a firearm in the city. A reminder also that, is, uh, that it is illegal to openly carry firearms in the district have been put out. However, despite all these security preparations, um, Ace, after what transpired today, uh, we, that included the security breach at the Capitol building and uh, disrespecting uh, observable facts, disrespecting the offices of those representing the institution and of democracy, the question remains, uh, were the preparations enough? Back to you, Ace. Thank you so much, Eliza gonzalez Manglik Mutt from Washington, D.C. Uh, I had the same questions when I saw the events unfolding. Um, was it really enough? Mm -hmm. Where are the authorities? Where are the law enforcers? Um, but still, that's it's not an excuse to disrespect the, the democracy. That's correct. Thank you so much, Eliza. Thank you, Ace.